Government watchdogs are raising new questions this morning about an advocacy group pushing President Obama's agenda. Are wealthy donors being promised special access to the president? NBC's chief White House correspondent Chuck Todd is at the White House for us. Chuck, good morning. Good morning, Lester. You know, when it comes to Barack Obama's views on money and politics, his actions have rarely matched his words. And with word that he wants to keep his political machine alive, how he plans on going about raising money for that group is coming under new scrutiny. When it comes to big money and politics, President Obama has often talked the talk. If your voices aren't heard, then the lobbyists and the special interests, they'll fill the void. But critics say he's rarely walked the walk. In 2008, he was the first presidential candidate to quit the public financing system, raising and spending unlimited amounts of money, leading to the two most expensive elections in history. In 2010, he lectured the Supreme Court over its powers. Citizens United decision. Last week, the Supreme Court reversed a century of law that I believe will open the floodgates for special interests, including foreign corporations, to spend without limit in our elections. But in 2012, faced with millions of dollars of unlimited Republican super PAC money, the Obama campaign decided to get into the super PAC game. We had to make an adjustment. Now Mr. Obama is keeping his campaign machine alive with a nonprofit group, Organizing for Action, headed by former campaign manager Jim Messina. While OFA is trumpeted as a grassroots effort, the money behind it could be anything but as organizers will accept unlimited donations from individuals while promising full disclosure of its donors. Adding fuel to the fire, reports that OFA organizers are considering promising donors who give $500,000 quarterly meetings with President Obama, a practice candidate Obama once criticized. Even if they're not asking for quid pro quo, it means that the people you're talking to all the time are folks who, they're not struggling. OFA head Jim Messina is defending donors' potential meetings with the president, insisting they will not have influence, writing, these are not opportunities to lobby. They are briefings on the positions the president has taken and the status of seeing them through. But government watchdogs are skeptical. It is a vehicle that will allow big donors to buy corrupting influence with the administration. President Obama ought to shut down this organization promptly. And the other issue here, Lester, that watchdog groups say he's exasperating an already bad system by doing this, and an ends justifies the means mentality is the wrong way to go. All right, Chuck Todd of the White House, take care of that cold, my friend. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we'll see you.